Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jess, and today we are doing a what's in my gym bag video. I meant to do this like two weeks ago, and then I got sick and it was all bad. So we're filming it today. I've got two gym bags that I'm gonna share with you. This is my main gym bag, and then I've got this little bag that I use from time to time, but honestly, I like the big one. I am currently going to two different gyms, and previously I wasn't really using a gym bag because I was just at my CrossFit gym, so anything I needed, I just had there, but now that I'm kind of like moving from one gym to the other, literally like in the same day, I'll go in the morning. To the morning I'll go to Crunch, which is, you know, like your typical gym. And then the afternoon I go to a more CrossFit style gym, not affiliated with CrossFit, but um, functional fitness if you want to call it that. So that's that, that's kind of what I do. So I've got my gym bag here. This is what it looks like. We've got a zipper in the front. We've got a zipper in the side for shoes nice long strap this is the strap that i usually use when i'm like yeah, just carrying it around another zipper in the back here and then this is just a pocket this pocket is like what's that insulation or whatever it's good for like a water bottle if it has condensation it kind of just like sits in there i guess okay so i have not prepped the inside of the bag whatsoever so whatever is in here is literally what what it is so i'm going to tilt you down so you're not going to be able to see my face anymore but on the inside of the bag you got this big zipper it opens up nice and wide and when i have shoes in here they either are at the top of everything okay do you see that because the shoes pocket is over here they're either at the top of everything or at the bottom of everything so typically they end up at the top of everything uh, because all the stuff is already in there and then I shove the shoes in there. I can move the stuff out of the way to make the shoes be at the bottom, but I don't really care. Okay, so now the shoes are at the bottom. That's probably how most people would prefer it. Um, it's a mess right now, but I've got pockets on this side, so there's this little like flap deal here that everything's sticking to. They're mesh pockets. So there's one pocket over here I have my wrist wraps in, and then this pocket, what does it have in there? It has a mask. Wow, I don't even wear, I don't, I never wear a mask, but I guess I have it in there. Um, so that's what's in this mesh pocket. Kind of nice, it's nice for my wrist wraps. So if you have wrist wraps or anything like that, these kind of wrist wraps get really nasty and sweaty. So to be able to put them in here, they're at least like airing out a little bit, even though I rolled them up, um, it's better than being totally enclosed. So now I'm gonna flip it around and show you this side. I know it's kind of hard to see what's exactly going on in here, but this is like a fixed pocket on the side. I've got this larger pocket here, okay? I'll show you what's in there in a second. And then I've got two mesh, um, can you see these mesh deals? I guess they're like, they have the stretchy top, but they're mesh, they don't actually zip closed. Okay, so I'll get into each, each of the pockets and what's actually in them, but that's kind of what the bag is like. So first thing, just to get the shoes out of the way, I typically, throw this back in here, I typically am wearing a pair of shoes to the gym, so I've got a pair of shoes on. These are what I wore today, if they'll focus. Um, Nike blazers, I got a kid's size seven. I wear a women's size nine, so technically I should wear seven and a half, but these fit fine. A Little bit snug, but I know they'll stretch out as I wear them. Um, but I'll leave it below because how cute. And so that's usually I wear a pair of shoes to the gym and then I'll put a pair of shoes in here if I don't wanna wear that pair of shoes for cardio. So I typically do cardio after I lift. So I've just got these Adidas. They kind of look disgusting. Um, these are just Adidas I cut off of Amazon as well. Kids size seven. I'll link these as well, but they're comfortable for cardio, not comfortable for lifting if you're doing leg day. And obviously they're white, so they get uh, real extra dirty, but comfy. They um, feel good when I'm just like walking on the treadmill at an incline. So that is the shoe pocket over here. And it does have like aerated holes. Aerated holes, is that is that the right wording? So I'll just show you what's kind of just laying in here because that's the most of the stuff I use. First thing I've got are grips. So these are more like gymnastics grips, but I do not use them as gymnastic grips. Like when I'm doing pull-ups or anything like that, I never use these. 
um, at the CrossFit gym, I use chalk a lot, but at Crunch, I don't use chalk because they kind of ask that you don't, and I don't use liquid chalk or anything like that. So what I do with these is I strap them on my wrists, and I just use these to help me hold onto dumbbells and stuff. So let's just pretend that this is a dumbbell. It's just a juice bottle. But I, I put the strap underneath. Obviously, it's way smaller, and I wrap it around. So then it, it puts a lot of the force on my, or I guess it, put, it pulls a lot on my wrist rather than my grip strength giving out because I think grip strength is important, but when I'm lifting at crunch, um, I'm not lifting for grip strength like I am at the CrossFit gym. I want to be able to hold the weight for as long as my legs can, can bear. So like if I'm doing deadlifts or like RDLs or something like that, sometimes my hands will give out before my legs are giving out. And that is detrimental, not detrimental, but it's not letting me get to full failure on my legs because my hands are giving out and I'm working my legs. Okay. Now at the CrossFit gym, I don't use these for stuff like that. Um, I only use these when I'm at crunch doing like RDLs and deadlifts for like reps and I'm trying to go till failure. So that's the first thing in here. And typically these are in the zippered pocket over here that this mask is in as well because I don't use them all the time. So next thing I've got in here, and these are just ethos. I got them at Dick's, but um, I'll link a good brand that I've tried um, of actual, like you can get actual grips or uh, lifting straps. These are my booty bands, if you wanna call them that, glute bands. I literally never use this one. See how small it is? I never use it because if you've seen my legs, like this thing, look, fits around one of my legs, okay? This is from Buff Bunny. It came in a pack of two, I think, or maybe, I don't know, I, I, I want a gift card and so that's why I got them. Um, this one though, I use all the time and I just use it to kind of like get warmed up. I'll put it around my calves and then I just do like side steps. I walk forward, walk backward. Sometimes I do a few squats and it really helps like to fire my glutes up and it gets my hips warm. If that's a thing, like it makes my hips feel more warm. So, uh, something like this. I, I have another one in here that I got for free from GNC. This is stupid, terrible but I can use this for like pull aparts like that. I will never use these on my legs. They are terrible and they suck. If you want a glute band of some sort to warm up with, get something that's like this fabric. Not to mention though, I don't know if Buff Bunny still has these, but this print is just adorable. <laughs> the black one's pretty boring. I literally never use it. I'll probably maybe when my daughter starts lifting, give it to her. Um, okay, a pair of socks. Look at this, I should have worn these today. Smiley socks that I got with, oh, with my smiley, um, what are these called? Slippers that have been chewed up by my dog because he's a puppy and he doesn't know any better. Uh, these slippers came with those all linked. Uh, dude, I can link these because they came with my slippers. So look, I'll just link everything for you. Everything that I'm finding in here. Next thing, very essential. I can't tell you how long I used the iPhone corded Headphones, uh, wireless headphones, literally change the game. And I like the ones that go over your ear because the ones that go in my ear, first off, I, I produce a massive amount of earwax and it gets on anything that goes in my ear, it just, it grosses me out. So I like these. The only thing is I get super sweaty around that part of my face. I know they make things that you can like put over them that kind of absorb your sweat. Maybe I should invest in those. I've got some containers that I had fruit in for my kids because when I go to the gym in the afternoon, all, all my kids come with me and gotta have snacks for them. Um, clips. I have my own clips because sometimes at the gym you can't find any. Also, I use these when I'm at home if I lift in my garage. Uh, these are Lockjaw. These ones are actually like pretty hard to get clamped, but I like them because then they don't move. So. Highly recommend your own clips. You don't have to search around the gym for clips or you don't have to use the metal ones because sometimes those ones suck. And um, we ain't got time for that. I have a tripod that broke. I do film a lot. If you follow me here, you probably follow me on Instagram, you know that I post a lot um, just of what I'm doing on there. So I don't know what I did here, it snapped. Broken tripod, I'll have to replace that with something else. Speaking of that, I've got a microphone, like a little lavalier or whatever you call it, 
so that I can like be away from my oh crap. I can be away from my camera. Why? What the heck? Anyway, you can be away from it, but I can still talk and like you'll be able to hear me. That's in this little bag, and there's just like a USB essentials. You probably don't need this if you don't record your workouts. I've got some tape just in case, like if I have a band-aid on and I need to tape it. That's really the only reason I use tape. Um, so that, oh, last thing that's just in the main pocket is my BCAAs from Bucked Up. Cojess saves you 20%. Uh, but I drink these during my workout. I use the Bucked Up Pump and Pre. I use like half scoop of the Pre and a full scoop of the Pump um, pre-workout. I also have a coffee before that. And then I will mix this up when I get to the gym and I will drink this throughout my workout. This is the strawberry mojito flavor. I really like it. Um, but yeah, you don't need to drink BCA in the middle of your workout. I just like to because it gives me a little flavor. Drink it some water. And uh, yeah, that's, I mean, you don't, you don't need them. So in my big pocket here, this big zipper pocket, I've got tampons. I've got hairspray. Um, sometimes I use hairspray as body spray too. If I feel like I'm really funky, I'm like, I'll just spray some hairspray on me. I have a hacky sack. I don't ever use it anymore. We used to hacky sack a lot when I was in college um, warming up for softball. I've got lens wipes for my glasses and then a hair tie, a scrunchie, and some deodorant because you never know when you're gonna need to uh, do your deodorant. And then, oh, this is so funny. I'm embarrassed. Got some Gas X, because you never know when you're gonna need it. I think that's all that I have in this pocket. So this is kind of just like hygiene type of pocket. And like I said, in this other one, this pocket that the mask was in had my wrist straps. I need to put them back in there. And then, or not my wrist straps, my grips, my gymnastics grips that I've just been using for my RDLs and my deadlifts. And then these are my wrist wraps. I also have another type of wrist wrap, but I lost the, the pair to it. This is just like a Velcro wrist strap. I prefer these ones. Um, but yeah, that's what's in the pockets. Now I'm gonna go to the outside pockets, show you what's in the outside. So I do have two boys, if you're new to following me, I have two boys that go with me to the gym in the morning and then in the afternoon all my kids come. So my two boys and my older daughter. And one of them's in diapers. So in this pocket I've got diapers and wipes so that if I need to go change them while he's there. And then usually I have some sort of snack in here for them. I've just got this in there and then some M&Ms to bribe them if I need to. So that's what's in that little side pocket there. You could put anything in there if you don't have kids that you have to take care of, but it's kind of nice to just have that with me when they're going all around with me. And then this front pocket, this is kind of like easy access stuff. So Kleenexes, if I need Kleenexes right now, I've got a runny nose. And then my wallet, I'm gonna show you everything, but it's just my wallet. Um, my extra phone, this is a phone that I sometimes just do social media like stuff on, like recording things, and it's just my old phone. And then my lanolin. If you're a mom, you know what that's for, but it's a uh, nipple cream for when you're breastfeeding a baby because um, your nipples get cracked and stuff, but I've been using it as chapstick. And I honestly love it. I, I don't like using anything on my lips that smells a lot. And a lot of the stuff that I actually like for my lips smells a lot, but so I don't want to use it because it smells a lot. This stuff is wonderful. You wonder why little babies who are breastfed have like the perfect little lips? It's probably because they got their lips on the nipple cream all the time. Um, so yeah, that's all that's in that front pocket. That's what's in this gym bag. So this is my main gym bag, like I said, but I do have this other gym bag. Okay, same uh, style from Vure. They're matching, essentially. I got this one first, um, just to see if I like the quality, and I did, so then I ordered the bigger one. They even have an even bigger one. They have a bunch of different bags, but. So in here, I just have like a random change of clothes. So nothing in the front pocket right now. I used to have like my wallet and stuff in this front pocket when I was only using this one. But now I just have a random change of clothes in here for if I ever need to just grab this bag to take the gym with me if I'm gonna need to change after for whatever reason. Usually I don't need to, but this is just a just in case bag. So slight little plug here. These are my Make a Difference t-shirts. This is the front of this one. Just got a little I love you and then make a difference on the back. 
This one as well, make a difference. These are on Amazon, so you can get them on Amazon, but I'll, I will tell you when you first get them, they're not pre-washed, so they're a little bit stiff when you first get them. These ones have both been washed, so now they're a lot softer. They will get softer once you wash them. Um, this one's a medium. I think this one's a large. Wait, wait, this one's a large, this one's a medium. I don't know which one's which. This is medium. This is large, I believe. But um, just basic t-shirts. You can go on there. I'll link them. Um, if you buy them, it supports me and it supports the Make Difference movement that I'm trying to put out there in the world to make a difference in whatever it is that you do. Then I've just got a sweatshirt just in case. And then another t-shirt and a pair of leggings. So leggings, t-shirt, and then sweatpants because you never know when you're going to need some sweatpants. And that's all that I have in this bag right now. It's literally just a quick, if I'm going to need a change of clothes, I grab this bag and take it with me to the gym. If I'm not going to need a change of clothes, I just leave this there. So this is literally a just in case bag that I can just grab and uh, throw on. I actually didn't know this t-shirt was in there. So this shirt is going to go somewhere else. But that is what is in my gym bag and my other gym bag. So that's the, I mean, there's nothing fancy, nothing too exciting. It's literally just exactly what I use. Um, I think that if I, uh, like if I was actually going to the gym, I'd have a shaker and, or a Gila mix. Um, and then my jug of water. And that's pretty much it. My keys, obviously, because I had to drive there. But that's it. So I guess that's gonna conclude this video. I got both these bags from Amazon, but they are Vure bags. So they're from Vure on Amazon um, because I have Amazon Prime. So if I can ever get anything on Amazon, but still support those companies, I'm gonna get it through Amazon because then I get it in two days and I don't have to worry about inputting any of my payment information or inputting my um, address or anything like that because it's already done and ready to go. So. That's that. It looks like it's time for us to change a diaper. Okay, it's time for us to change a diaper and maybe take a nap. And thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment what is your favorite thing in your gym bag or what brand is your gym bag. And that's it. We'll see you in the next one.